Hi, Carol, professional IKEA hacker here. Today, I'll talk to you about how to efficiently use the IKEA kitchen planner. Since my last video, subscribe, do that for me, subscribe. Since my last video, in which I, uh, I, I spoke about why you should consider hiring me, and there are specific reasons for that, so if you subscribe, you can watch the video. But sometimes, uh, one of the reasons why people want to hire me is because they have trouble with the, uh, with the planner, with that piece of software. So today, I'll tell you, I'll give you simple steps that if you follow, it will, you will be able to generate a nice, aesthetically pleasing kitchen design. And a functional one at that. And at a re very ridiculously good price. Unbeatable, unmatchable. Feel, feel good about buying the IKEA second box. It's very well made. Everyone uses their, everyone builds their box the same way. So don't worry about it. Don't even think about, oh, am I getting a good deal? You can read the review on, on my blog as well. So the first step to getting, having a positive experience with the planner is having a good set of measurements. You have to have good measurements. So if you need to, if you need to hire someone to do that, do that or you can take them yourself. One of the, if you're likely, if you're gonna be taking them yourself, you're likely to be installing yourself as well. So you might as well, at this point, at the planning stage, when you still have, I believe, about two weeks left of the, uh, of the kitchen sale happening, buy yourself that tool. It's the handiest thing. You need the horizontal and you need the vertical. That's all you need, it's about $140. Kitchens are planes, so those laser lines, they will generate your planes of doors, the plane of the countertop, so it's a handy tool, so you need that. Moving on to the planner, so you have, so you already have good dimensions, okay? Now you have to select the style of the door that you're going to put on. So, while you're making your rounds, don't go to Ikea on Sunday. Never, never use the planner on a Sunday. Don't go to IKEA on a Sunday because, or on the weekend actually, because it's a, it, IKEA on the weekend is a zoo. Thousands of people go through it, starting at nine thirty with their one dollar breakfast. It's just, it's not efficient. So you go to IKEA off peak, Monday morning is pretty good. Tuesday any morning, early in the week will give you good results. So as you're walking around, you know, inspecting, opening, all checking all the hardware, checking out their faucets, checking out their sinks, pick up the IKEA, the orange book. I have a copy in the shop, I have a copy in the van, and I have an emergency copy always with me, just in case. And familiarize yourself with the sizing. So while you're walking and opening and you say, oh, I like this, or, oh, wow, that's a very impressive solution, make a point of remembering that's the cabinet you like, that's the drawer setup that you like. You know, make a note in that book. Those are the things that I like. So, and select the door style. So you've got the measurements, you, familiar, you, picture, you picked your own style of doors that you will use, and you have a book with all the sizing and all the pricing and all the combinations. It's just a really good thing to have when you're planning. Next step is to actually, don't worry about the scale, do it on paper. Do it on paper, put them in, fill the space. So if you have a specific distance of wall that you need to do, fill those in with boxes. And if I am to give you one tip for nice, successful designs, prof prof more professional looking, I want to say, if you're not hiring a professional, is always think rhythm. Nice, steady flow. So for example, in my designs, when I design, see this right there? This is an IKEA hat. This is going to be a, a, a cabinet. I don't know if you can see the outline of it, but it's, uh, 
It's an IKEA hack, but it's got rhythm. Same identical door. IKEA doesn't offer a 26 inch cabinet, so what I did, I bought a 31 inch and I chopped it off. You gotta cut the gables, you gotta cut the back, but it all fits. It has nice rhythm. So try using number one, same sizes. And try going with the same setup. So if it's a two drawer, go two drawers all around and fit some into your drawers hidden from view in there. You want to have rhythm. That's what you want. So now you've got this paper thing laid out and you fill it in the box. Just remember to leave about two inches on each side. A balanced look, same sizing, that rhythm that I spoke of, looks better than having a, one larger cabinet. Space it out a little better. No one will notice that you have half an inch extra on your filler piece, but the, what they will notice is a nice, steady flow. So you filled it, that paper. And now what do you do? You go to Ikea with this. So you're familiar with the boxes, you have them laid out. Now you have to transfer your quick, rough sketch, hopefully, into the Ikea kitchen planner. Using the, I cannot download the, uh, Ikea planner can be downloaded onto uh, your own computer, but I, it, I in, my, in my own experience, and the feedback that I get from people, it's challenging to use it at home. There could be a variety of issues. You could have security issues, you could have a whole bunch of things running, you could run out of your RAM memory. I remember building my computers in the 90s, putting in those little chips, you know, you had four megs or eight or 16, right? So you could be running an old machine, a whole, a whole thing. So a, a, a whole a range of issues. So the best thing, Go to IKEA. Those computers, even though they look old and the mouse is corded, are optimized. It's an optimized computer environment for your dimensioning. Going off peak will also allow you to early in the morning, 9:30, get the dollar breakfast, get your croissant, get your coffee, caffeinate yourself. Well, at 10 o'clock, you're in line. First person, the most important person of the day, because you're buying your kitchen and you're number one. You're first. You get a computer and you can ask for help because it's slow. If it's slow, your IKEA buddy, your IKEA, the IKEA co-worker will, they will transfer your design from paper into the computer. How handy is that? And they're efficient at it. Building, designing, putting together a kitchen is essentially going to a specific number of steps and putting them in. So you have to maybe do four or five actions as many times as you have boxes. That's what it is. So it's almost muscle memory, or uh, um, you know, it's quick, tick, 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 and put it in. Have some rhythm, and you have your kitchen design. That's the way to go about it. If you're not a fluent user, and it will this, this, and you have to do this step. The reason for this is because that. That, uh, once you design your kitchen and you have it, it will generate a price, it will generate, generate a list of items that your IKEA, entire kitchen will be composed of, and you can use that list to check if everything has been delivered properly, when they deliver it. It will also generate a number of drawings, pl floor plan, an elevation, that will tell your installer how he should go about it. You'll be able to verify is the sink compatible there but hopefully by that time it is but it will give them an idea of what to do what to execute i have gotten on several occasions i have gotten somebody who has hasn't done hasn't gone through that step and they just gave me a sketch the paper sketch and they and they bought it and they ordered their kitchen that way and it was a mess because i i don't know what i'm working with i don't know what this i i don't know what the what it should look like I can make some decisions. As a designer, I'll tell you, this is what we can do. This is what we can do to make your island stand out a little more. And give those custom elements. And you can make nice doors for it. An IKEA hack. An IKEA hack 
with some custom elements and custom doors. The most reasonable way of doing cabinetry. It's getting this laminate. It's my favorite ones from the Diaphos collection. It will look amazing. It will look amazing. Ciao. Merry Christmas.